hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have square root of c plus c is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of c so here we find all the uh, values of c that satisfy this equation uh, and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to eliminate this k root sign from left hand side so for this we will move this plus c to the right hand side and when you move this c to the right hand side it will be written as a square root of c is equals to 2 minus c and now in order to eliminate this square root sign we need to taking the square root on both of the sides so we take the square on both of the sides uh, in this form okay uh, so now here further in the next step uh, in the right hand side we apply here this nice algebraic formula if you have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so we apply this nice formula in the right hand side and here in this case we have our a is equals to 2 and our b is equals to c so uh, in the left hand side we have this 2 and this square root are gone and we get our c is equals to in the right hand side we apply this nice formula so it will be written as 2 square minus 2 times of a b so here our a is 2 and b is c plus b square so b is equals to c so it will become c square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c is equals to 2 square and this 2 square equals to 4 minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4c and plus this is c square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and here we move the c to the right hand side and it will be written as c square minus 4c and this is plus 4 and when we move this plus c to the right hand side it, it will become minus c and this whole equation equals to 0. So you see here uh, in the next step uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have the like terms are uh, c square and this is minus 4c and minus c becomes minus 5c and this is plus 4 equals to 0 so you see here this equation will become quadratic in c variable uh, so uh, here we already know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method the second is completing square method and the third is co up by applying the quadratic formula so here in this question i can just apply the uh, quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation uh, so for this first i can just take the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 5 and c is equals to 4. so uh, there are three methods so uh, you can apply those methods which you want and which you uh, uh, you need which you uh, you understand it is easy okay so you can apply the method accordingly uh, so uh, now here uh, uh, we state the quadratic formula as c is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now here we need to put the values of uh, a b and c here so we have the value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 5 and plus minus square root of uh, this is minus 5 square and minus 5 square becomes 25 and 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and we have this is 5 plus minus 
uh, square root of 25 minus 16 becomes 9 and it is divided by 2 so here we need to focus in the uh, this square root term and we know that the square root of 9 is equals to 3 and we have 5 plus minus 3 divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need to uh, just convert this equation into two cases the first case is we write uh, 5 plus 3 over 2 and the second case is we write c equals to 5 minus 3 over 2 and from the first case we get the value of c is equals to 8 over 4 and here we get the value of c is equals to 2 over 2 so finally we have these are cancelled out by each other and we get 4 to the 8 so you get here our c is equals to 2 so this is the first value of c these are also cancelled out by each other and we get c is equals to 1 this is the second value of c and now in the next step we need to uh, verify these two values of c and we check that uh, which value of c is satisfied our given question statement so for verification of these roots of the given equation uh, we need to first copy down the given question statement here it is square root of c plus c is equals to 2 and here we will verify both of these values of c so first we have the value of c equals to 2 and second value of c is equals to 1 so here we need to verify both of these values so now first we verify this value of c uh, so this value of c sorry here we have a little mistake here this is divided by 2 this is 2 so when you cancel this term we get here 4 okay so that we have the one value of c is equals to 4 and the other value of c is equals to 1 so here we verify both of these values of c so when you put c equals to 4 here uh, it will be written as a square root of 4 and its whole square root plus 4 is equals to 2 and here we know that a square root of 4 becomes here 2 plus 4 equals to 2 and here we check that is this equals to 2 or not so 4 plus 2 becomes 6 and we know that 6 is not equals to 2 so this means that uh, the value of c equals to 4 not satisfied the given question statement so here we can just uh, write that not satisfied uh, so rejected uh, so if this is not satisfied the given question statement so we reject this case or we'll reject this value and we can just uh, uh, check the other value and this is equals to 1 we put it here it will become square root of 1 plus 1 and we check that is this equals to 2 or not and we know that the square root of uh, 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and this is 2 is equals to 2 so this is satisfied the given question statement so we have uh, finally we have only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 1 so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos